as a nation, we must and will prevail. Indeed, our only recourse is to be successful at the upcoming first review of the program in September 2023 and all other subsequent reviews. We are therefore respectfully calling on every member of this August House and all our fellow Ghanaians to support these reforms. Mr. Speaker, to support the effective implementation of the IMF-supported PCPEG, the government has put in place an implementation strategy. Status of progress towards achieving the program objectives. Mr. Speaker, the IMF-supported program will be monitored and reviewed semi-annually based on agreed targets to be met by end June and end December each year. We will prepare for a comprehensive assessment of the targets by the IMF during the first review in September 2023, which will assess nine structural benchmarks, six quantitative performance criteria, and three indicative targets in 2023. Mr. Speaker, the IMF-supported PCPEC has also prioritized social protection reforms to ensure that the vulnerable are protected from the impact of the ongoing fiscal adjustment. Social spending on health, social protection and education will be closely monitored to ensure timely disbursement of funds to beneficiaries. In addition, an indexation mechanism for benefits under the LEAP program will be put in place by end September 2023. Furthermore, the coverage of LEAP will be expanded and its targeting improved to cover the stream of poor by 2024. Mr. Speaker, Cabinet also approved a turnaround strategy for Cocoa Board as part of measures to improve financial viability of the institution and to position it to deliver increased value for the people of Ghana. I take this opportunity to assure all our key stakeholders of government's commitment to the unwavering implementation of our very own PCPEC, which undergirds the IMF-approved program.